In this video, I'm going to show you a simple little way that you can get some pretty cool little pressure out of the nickel 335 wheel in the Chicago defensive playbook. Now, the nickel 335 wheel, in my opinion, is one of the most slept on nickel packages in the game because of what it can do from both a pressure perspective as well as a coverage perspective. It gives you access to a lot of really effective match concepts, but it also is going to give you access to some of the best blitzing concepts in Madden 22. Now, if you're new to the channel, I want to ask you right now to go ahead and click the subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel, and it just allows you to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies that we release every single day here on the channel. And the defense that we're going to show you in this video is kind of a, a cover three style or cover um, cover three or cover two man style um, of defense. We're going to come actually come out in the cover three sky, and we're going to show you how you can get some really cool pressure um, out of the nickel three three five wheel. Now this is one of the defenses that I actually released an ebook on in my Patreon membership. So if you want to get access to that, the Patreon uh, is going to allow you to not only get access to this defense, but every offense and defense that's in the Patreon, which right now we have 20 offensive and defensive guides. All of those guides have been updated, and uh, we also have, uh, or throughout the throughout the weeks of the season, and then also we have more eBooks coming over the course of the next couple weeks. So if you want to get everything, I would really encourage you to join the Patreon for just $10 a month. You're going to get access to all of the material that is in there and all the material um, that we're going to continue to release as this as the season goes on. So let's take a look at this nickel 335 wheel defense. And what I want to show you in this is actually we're going to auto to Tampa 2. So if you were in a split field coverage like this Tampa 2, um, what you could do with this is you could easily uh, show blitz and it kind of gives the same basic look. And if you take a look at this blitz angle, you're going to notice that it's a really unique blitz angle from the nickel 335 wheel that you're really not going to find in other sets. And I'll show that real quick from another uh, package. And the, the package I'm going to show it to you from is actually the nickel triple, which is one of my favorite defenses in this game. So if I were to go to nickel triple cover two and I showed blitz, you see that he's going to go down in the box. But if you take a look, you're going to notice that his blitz angle is rather sharp. The problem that that's going to create for the defense is he's not going to be able to be super consistent in terms of um, the ability to blitz him. So what we're going to do with this is we're going to utilize the nickel 335 will. Now, again, this is in the Chicago playbook, and you want to make sure that you have safeties in these linebacker positions. The beauty of this defense is you can put linebackers at defensive end. Um, so you could put, like, for example, Preston Smith, Rashawn Gary. To me, you don't want to use the Darius Smith if you can help it, um, just because uh, sometimes the abilities mess up the uh, blitzes. So, again, the player we're using is Cover 3 Sky. It kind of comes out with him really close already. And then when we show blitz, you're going to notice that it puts him right down the gap. Now, it also puts the nickel corner on the back side of this into the gap as well. So what I like to do with this is blitz the safety I'm going to man the running back up with Harrison Black. If you want to, you can also just put him um, on his own coverage concept, and then you can use her. I actually like to use her the deep safety, if at all possible. Now, um, Or at least bring him down into the box, because it gives me the ability to blitz these two linebackers. So um, this is a blitz-heavy defense, at least the way that I'm going to teach it in this video. So again, we want to have the threat to be able to send any of these guys at any point. And what you should see here is we're going to get this nice looping blitz at the quarterback. Now we can make this blitz even better, but what I want to show you real quick with this blitzing concept is because we man the running back up, this sometimes will help us be able to get pressure even if they block the running back. So here I'm going to block my running back. And what you're going to see, that time he does pick it up. Um, but you can get some creative pressure. Now, again, different formations require different blitzes. So, for example, what we can also do, you'll notice that if I uh, contain and I just move him off the edge just a step, you're going to notice that it's going to put him on the contain. And the beauty of this is I can kind of be right in here with my user, and if they block their running back, this contain is going to absolutely roast it every single time, as you can see right there. So it's not only pressure against a blocked running back, but it also allows us to be able to get pressure against a blocked tight end. So if they block their tight end and they send their running back out on a route, what you should notice here is we should still be able to get really nice looping edge pressure from that player. As you can see right there, he comes right in off the edge untouched 
Now, the other beauty of this is you're going to be able to have some really, really good contain um, because a lot of times what you can actually do with this is spread your linebackers and that will kind of typically force that safety to be on a contain without you having to move anybody. So now I'm gonna show you a max protect bunch. So I'm gonna block my tight end and I'm gonna block my running back. And what you're gonna see here is oftentimes we'll get pressure even with that assignment. Now this is one of the few formations um, in Madden 22 where you can get that contain uh, almost every time he'll lock on. If he doesn't lock on, if you simply spread your linebackers, did you notice that it changes that safety to the contain? What that then allows us to do is it allows us to play this little uh, kind of hybrid cover three, if you will, and then we're going to be able to use her kind of in this area. Now, the benefit of this is, again, this is one of the only formations in the game where you can get a max protect blitz that's going to be fairly consistent against bunch and not actually have to manually move anybody. So, again, I can show blitz, spread my linebackers, blitz the safety, contain. I don't have to touch anybody. I don't have to move anybody, right? Now I'm in max protect. And what you should see here is oftentimes that contain will loop around against max protect. It'll definitely loop around if they block a running back or if they block a tight end. So they have to max protect this no matter what. Now, the other thing that's really cool about this defense, um, um, the other thing that's really cool about this defense here is this nickel corner. So if I wanted to send it from the right, um, it's a little bit more difficult to send it from the right, but you certainly can. Uh, all you want to do here, and I can't get my, my guy right off the edge here, but you're just wanting to kind of get this guy on the contain if you can. So you see here I get him on the contain, and then what you'll be able to see is we'll kind of do a little bit of a roll coverage where you have that middle linebacker going to the flat, and then you have the other one going into the deep vertical. But what you should see here, same basic concept, a little bit different on that side. So I may talk about that in a future video. I know we talk about that a lot in the ebook. With the ebook, this is one of the few formations that you can actually get, um, you can get double edge pressure on both sides of the formation. So what I mean by that is I can get a two man pressure off of the left and I can also get a two man pressure off of the right. So here I'll show you again. So again, this guy just goes on, on the contain. This is the two man variation of this. And what I like to do is bluff blitz this guy. That's actually going to put him a lot of times you'll see um, he'll play man coverage on the running back. We're going to quarterback spy Clark. We're going to vert hook this defender. And then we've, of course, got our, our coverage here that is really, really effective. And then if my play art will cooperate with me, you'll see here we've got really good coverage out of this. And then, again, this is a two-man pressure. So you'll see the pressure will loop around a lot of times at the quarterback. I need to blitz my user. Let me show you that one more time. But the beauty of this is, like I said, you're going to be able to get pressure and you're not going to have to expend a lot of your resources, uh, which is which is really, really helpful. So again here, see how I can spray my linebackers. Typically, that'll put him on the contain, as you can see. We're going to then blitz our user. And then we can, the real benefit, like I said, is that you can do all of this um, without having to manually click on anybody. And that makes all of the difference in the world when you're trying to set up your defense. So again, here it is. There's the two-man version of this, and what you should see here is, again, it doesn't happen every single time. The two-man is probably the least consistent, but you know it, it is fairly good, and it, it's a lot better in game, uh, of course. But, but anyways, just show blitz. If you want to send pressure off of both edges, let's say you're trying to kind of get you know really good contain out of this defense, you can send both of these guys off of the edge, and then all you're going to want to do is QB contain. And what you might have to do is spread... Uh, your D-line or shift your D-line a little bit or whatever. But then the beauty of this is we can create a nice little inside-out defense that looks kind of like this, if you will. And now you've got really, really good contain. Now, you might need to move that guy in just a step, but this is a great defense for contain, but it also typically will send some pressure, some looping pressure of some type, some type will typically come in around the edge. So... This is a great little defense for just different situations that you might come up against. And then, of course, like I said, it has all of the matching coverages um, within it. I really like the show blitz look um, because I can then just manually press this guy. And if I want to, I don't have to be on the safety. So if I want to, I can be on this linebacker right here. To me, is probably the best one to use her. Um, you could also use her this one. But you can be right here if you wanted to and then you could still send the pressure from either nickel corner. So let's say they flipped the play on you, then you, you don't have to flip your defense. You can just literally do this 
and you're in basically the same defense, um, probably even a little bit better version of it as you can see, okay? So that's the nickel three through five wheel, or at least a little snippet of it. If you wanna learn the full defensive ebook, it's available in my Patreon. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, we'll see you guys next time. Again, if you wanna check out the Patreon, there's a link in the description below where you can go sign up for just 10 bucks a month. We'll get you access to every ebook all year long. Thanks for watching.